Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. I'm Tanya. How you doing today? Today is Friday, the 9th of October, 2020. We are at the last day of the second week of October, guys. We're done with week two today. We are, we are running towards Election Day. This train is off the rails. Let's, let's start this reading with a blessing this morning. Dear Creator, dear Universe, dear Spirit Guides, please give us a blessing this morning, a blessing for us to carry with us throughout this day, a blessing for the collective for this Friday, the 9th of October, 2020. Oh my goodness. As a, this is the most appropriate. This is the blessing from the Divine Mother. Look at this card. A previously closed door now opens. There is a blessed and fortunate time for you, but be mindful, humble, and grounded. Feel your connection to the earth. Feel her energy and love in your heart and know that you are eternally blessed by the Divine Mother. Namaste. Oh my goodness. Let me read this one more time. Everybody open your hearts to receive this blessing. A blessing from the Divine Mother. A previously closed door now opens. This is a blessed and fortunate time for you, but be mindful, humble, and grounded. Feel your connection to the earth. Feel her energy and love in your heart and know that you are eternally blessed by the Divine Mother. Namaste. Good morning, everybody. Oh my goodness. Okay, I am excited because you guys rock. Um, my video on Wednesday wouldn't upload. I tried to upload it three times. And then I came back later and found out that all three of them had uploaded. So what I wound up doing was I deleted the videos for the, the two um, that had the least amount of views. But unfortunately, both of those had more than 30 views when I deleted them. So there were questions that were asked. If you um, asked a question on one of those videos, please go into the comment section on, on Wednesday's video and see if you're still there. If you aren't still there, that means your comment got deleted with the, with the video that it was attached to. Please drop your question on this video. We are getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. We are, we are at the end. We are pulling into the station, literally. Um, and the, tra the, the, the train has no brakes. So if you have questions that you would like answered, um, political questions, please, please, please get, uh, put those questions in the comment section. And also, if you would like a free a reading from me. I am still doing them. I do them on Facebook Messenger. Um, you request through Facebook Messenger if you would like a free reading from me. Okay, guys? I love you. All right. We have one, two, three, four, five questions today. The first question, the first questions I'm going to do are the ones on who has COVID. So we're going to do those first. Um, the first one is Danielle R. And she would like to know, does Mike Pence have COVID? Does Mike Pence have COVID? If you watched the vice presidential debate, you saw uh, that he had very obviously pink watery, a pink watery eye. Okay. And a uh, pink eye is uh, one of the precursor symptoms for COVID-19. So let's ask, whoa. Whoa. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the cards that flew out of the pack. We got the Tower, Distress, Ruin, and we've got uh, the Empress. This is female. Um, uh, this is doubt and ignorance. Okay, those are going to be our signifier and our crossing cards. Cards have spoken. They are done being shuffled. This Tower, though, 
This tower, this is calamity. This is, like I said, the train is off the rails, no brakes, the station is ahead, It's and it's going 200 miles per hour, okay? So the tower is distress, ruin, calamity, disgrace, deception, and misery. And we're asking, does Mike Pence have the coronavirus? And that card right there is kind of telling us that, yeah, he possibly does. But let's, let's go ahead and get a real yes, okay? Um, does Mike Pence have COVID-19? The, the third card, what is above him, he's got the, the scaredy cat horse, the Knight of Wands. This is the fear of moving forward. This is change of residence, uh, change of place, change of position. The fourth card, we get the Three of Pentacles, secret meetings, dark money. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's see if I get an ace here. Yep, there's our ace. Here it is, guys. Pence has COVID. Pence knew he had COVID Wednesday when he did the, the, the debate. They know. They are, they are attempting to infect the Biden-Harris campaign, guys. This is no joke. They are attempting. There is our yes. Danielle, yes. Mike Pence has, has COVID. Mike Pence knows he has COVID. He's known. His wife, too. That's why she went up there without her mask as well. Okay, the last card. Look at this, guys. The last card, the sixth card that I have that I pulled, we have the death card for Mike Pence. This is an ending. This is an ending. They are done. Their karmic meter is about to explode. It is going to shatter into a billion pieces. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, since I got the death card, I've got to pull these last four. Okay. The the seventh card, the questioner. We get the spy in the camp. Somebody is going to let us know exactly how this White House has been trying to spin the coronavirus and how they are going in knowingly, knowingly attempting to infect as many people as they can with these super spreader events. This is, this is how Trump is trying to get herd immunity, except for this is attempted murder because he is infecting people. He is infecting people and he stopped testing. He stopped doing testing. They're not doing any contract tracing, contact tracing. This is, these guys, oh my goodness, this is criminal. This is criminal and Nancy is on this. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She is on this. The eighth card, we get the Knight of Cups. This person is in is waiting. This is messages. This is timing. This is part of their plot, and it is a plot. Uh, that's why Trump wants to get back on the campaign trail so bad. He's losing by, uh, he cannot make up uh, the, 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 the ground that he has lost. As far as the polling is concerned, he is losing by double digits. Putin can only fix the, the election if those points are within four, okay? Four to five is the top. Double digits, Putin can't touch that. There's nothing he can do. Neither can Erdogan, and people are not looking at Turkey. Oh my gosh, Turkey is in our elections as well. People are worried about Iran. Iran does not care. They care if 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 uh, Trump is reelected, but they are not trying to get into our elections, okay? That's a lie. Erdogan in Turkey is. Erdogan in Turkey has a lot of money uh, behind it, and he is doing this at the behest of Donald Trump. Okay, the ninth card, the inner emotions, we get the emperor, okay? This is who Trump wants to be. This is how he is behaving right now. We're on the crazy train, guys, and we have the naked emperor driving the train, okay? And the tenth card in this, we get the nine of swords. Whatever he tries to say on Fox News, 
Trump is, I, I'm sorry, we, we, we jumped off of does Pence have COVID? Yeah, Pence has COVID, but we, Tarot jumped right back in. The, they are extremely afraid. They are terrified of the repercussions of this election. There's a lot of sleepless nights. Trump hasn't slept in a while. Well, actually, Trump's been sleeping pretty good since he's been doped up. But that's the only reason that he's sleeping is because of the drugs. Um, guys, all right. Okay. So, yes, Bill, uh, Mike Pence has COVID. The next question is from Jan B. Does Bill Barr have COVID? Now, if everybody can remember that picture from the Rose Garden for when they uh, nominated Amy B B uh, Comey Barrett to be the next Supreme Court Justice, the cone of COVID was right around Bill Barr. He was smack dab in the middle of all that infection. So let us see. Uh, does Bill Barr have COVID? Does Bill Barr have COVID? This question is by Jan B. Does Bill Barr have COVID? Does Bill Barr have COVID? Here we go, guys. Here we go. First card out, we get the King of Swords. We get Donald. We get the super spreader himself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Trump is typhoid Mary. Crossed by the Hierophant. Oh, my goodness. Here's the law. We are in his energy. We got his boss and we got his profession. This is Bill Barr's energy. Above him, does Bill Barr have COVID? We get the hanged men, okay? We are going to be forced to look at things differently. We are going to be forced to have to, in the first time in American history, disbelieve everything that comes out of our administration. We are being led by a bunch of liars. This is what the universe is, is saying, guys. We are being led by a pack of liars who are trying to literally drive us all into the grave. Okay, the fourth card on does Bill Barr have COVID, we get the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is money, 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 money. Okay, we're in his, his energy. So everything that, that, that Bill Barr is doing is for one or two reasons. One, to protect Donald Trump. Two, to make Donald Trump more money. That is his job. That is an end. It is at its end. It is complete. This cycle is done for Bill Barr. Okay, but we're, we're trying to ask if he has the coronavirus. There's a little yes. There's a little yes, guys. We get the three of cups, okay? We get the three of cups. This is celebration. This is a yes. This is an affirmative card, okay? So, yes. Uh, and, 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 and I'm, and I'm kind of seeing that this is Trump, Pence, and Barr. They're their little unholy trinity, and they all have the coronavirus. The, the leadership of our country right now could all, well, Barr's not leadership, but Pence and Trump are. We could literally lose the president and the vice president to death by from the coronavirus. Okay, the sixth card, the future influence, and there's the big hard yes. Yeah, Trump, Pence, and Barr all have coronavirus. Okay, all right, next question. Veronica is from Veronica G, and this is a good question because I want to know, I want to know, Will Ivanka Trump go to prison? 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 And the cards are shuffled. All right. First card out. Yes. 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 Ivanka Trump will know what it is like for them to rip her babies out of her arms and put her in a cage. 
Ivanka Trump is going to prison. Let's pull the six, okay? Just for S's and G's, okay? We get the emperor. This is her energy. This is who she thinks she is. She wants to be the emperor. She wants to be the all-powerful. And she has been for, in her father's eyes, her whole life. She is the most important person in her world, okay? This is fruitfulness, initiative, unknown, doubt, and ignorance. Above her, we get daddy. There's her papa. Daddy shows up above her. The reason that Ivanka is going to prison is because she is following in the footsteps of her father. So if anybody wants to have a whole lot of uh, sympathy for Ivanka Trump, don't waste your emotions. She, everything that she has done for the Trump administration, for her father, since she was on The Apprentice, she has been groomed. She has her eyes wide open as to what she's doing, what her job is, and how foul it is. She's doing this of her own accord. Nobody is forcing her. She is in love with money. She is in love with power, and she is in love with, uh, 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 presenting herself a certain way. So everything that she has done is to further her own agenda. So don't think that she got brought into this unwillingly. No, she is a completely willing participant. Who is going to go to prison? The fourth card, the distant past. She will be stabbed in the back. The chickens have come home to roost. Her dirty fingers are on a lot of criminal activities that are about to be uncovered. The first one being her voter machines. Yes, her voter machines that are coming to America pre-hacked, okay? Pre-hacked. The fifth card, we get the Page of Pentacles. This is more news, more news. This is somebody that is going to leak more information about Ivanka, okay? And then the final card in the Ivanka drawing, we get the Six of Pentacles. This is her future influence. This is the cheerful giver. However, in Ivanka's case, she is not the one giving the money. In this case, Ivanka is the, is the one in blue underneath the scales of justice, underneath with her hands out, begging for forgiveness and begging for money. She will be destitute when this is all over. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I know we got the answer, but I've got to pull the last four. The seventh card for will Ivanka go to prison, we get the Knight of Cups, okay? This is, again, is the knight that is standing in wait. This is the knight that has information, but they are awaiting instructions. The eighth card, the environmental factor, again, here we go, guys. Dark money, those secret meetings. This is being discussed, okay? She will be indicted uh, very shortly. Very shortly, I have a, a distinct feeling that in November or December, she will be indicted, okay? The ninth card, her inner emotions. There's our second yes. We get the world. The world is watching and the world is concerned about this, about the inequity, about this family being able to get away with literal murder. This is what's going on, Okay? And then the final card for Ivanka, Tara wants to make sure that we understand Ivanka is going to prison, okay? She's going to prison. She's going to prison. She's going to prison. And she's not happy about it. All right. That is that question. Thank you, Veronica. Okay, the next question I have is from Cindy C, okay? And she asks this question based on Mike Pence's appearance at the, uh, the debate on Wednesday. Her question, Cindy C's question, 
I'm sorry. Yeah. Cindy C's question is, did somebody punch Mike Pence in the face? Is that the reason he had that pink eye? And uh, she noticed that he had an abrasion around his mouth. Her question is, did somebody punch Mike Pence in the face? Did somebody punch Mike Pence in the face because before Wednesday's debate? Did somebody punch Mike Pence? Well, it, well, did somebody recently punch Mike Pence in the face? Is that why he has uh, an abrasion on his mouth and that pink eye? Is that because Mike Pence was struck? Here we go. Cards are done being shuffled. Here we go. First card out, we get the Queen of Cups. Okay, this is a fair woman. Um, a fair, honest woman, gift of vision, success, happiness, wisdom, and virtue. The funny thing about that is that the word vision, the word vision, and we're talking about his eye, comes up, crossed by the three of wands, waiting for his help. Okay? He is standing there looking over, waiting for somebody to come and help him. This is also a commerce trade card, but this one is, is this is standing in wait for help, for assistance. Okay, did somebody punch Mike Pence in the face? Third card, we get the seven of pentacles, reaping what one has sown, reaping what one has sown. The fourth card, did Mike Pence get punched in the mouth? We get the two of cups. We get the unions and partnerships. Tara, are you trying to say that somebody close to Mike Pence slapped him up a little bit? Was it mother? Did mother slap Pence? The fifth card out, we get the queen of swords. Female sadness, embarrassment. And we got female, okay? Tarot is trying to tell us, okay, you got that partnership, couples, okay, I love you, you love me. We get female embarrassment, sadness, sadness, and this is a female energy card. Did mother hit you? Pence, are you safe? Oh my goodness, he gets the tower in the future influence. He gets disaster, catastrophe, ruin. Oh my gosh. Did some, did, is someone hurting you, Mike? We get, in the, seven, in the seventh house, we get the offer that one did not want. He was asked to do something. He said no. He got popped in the face. He got popped in the mouth because of it. And there's our answer, Cindy. Yes, big, 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 huge yes, yes. Pence got popped in the face. Pence got popped in the face by a woman. Look at this. Ninth card. High Priestess comes out. Oh my goodness. The tenth and last card for Mike Pence. And there's Donald shows up for him to protect all his assets. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, Cindy, Mike Pence was popped in the mouth. And I'm kind of feeling that it might have been by his wife that mother might have slapped Mike Pence right in the kisser. Oh, my goodness. But that eye, that pink eye is from COVID. But that sore lip is from mother. Mm. Oh, my goodness. And my, now, let's see. My last question is from Karna M. Will Trump be rehospitalized? Will Trump be rehospitalized? Will Trump be rehospitalized? Okay, Taro, come on. Let's let's get this. Will Trump Will Trump be rehospitalized? Will he have to go back into the hospital because he's acting a doggone fool? Will Trump be rehospitalized? Will he be readmitted? Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. Okay. 
First card out, we get the Six of Swords. Oh my goodness, the Six of Swords, guys. I asked the question, is, is Trump try, gonna try to pull a Machiavelli? This is Escape by Water. This is Escape by Water, travel on waterways, okay? Crossed by the Ten of Cups, the GOP happy family, the end of a cycle. Okay, will Trump be rehospitalized with the COVID virus? What we have above, we have the Knight of Swords. This is rushing forward as to war, rushing into battle. The brakes are off. I'm telling you guys, the crazy train, it's, it's coming into the station off the rails with no brakes. They are going to try to burn the house down before they get thrown out of it. The fourth card, the distant past, we get the King of Wands, okay? The King of Wands is dark nature, emotional, animated, noble. This is a dark man who is friendly, married, and honest. This is not Donald Trump, okay? This is not Donald. This is his distant past. I have a feeling that this is one of his doctors who is lying about his condition. The fifth card, the recent past events, we get justice. The question is, will Trump be rehospitalized, okay? We get justice. Tarot is trying to tell us a story here. Tarot is trying to tell us that, that, that Trump is going to try to do everything that he can to harm this country before he is made to leave. Made to leave. Listen to those words. Made to leave. Okay? He is going to try to destroy, just to destroy everything. So... Let, let, let's go. Let's, let's continue this and I'll, and I'll do my free form afterwards. The sixth card, the future influence. Will Trump be rehospitalized? We get the hanged man again. We are going to be forced to see things differently. We are going to be forced to see things differently. But this is also our eyes will be opened to the truth, to the matter of things. Okay? They are going, to, everything is going to be lies, lies, lies. They are going to lie about everything. Let me keep going. Will, will Trump be rehospitalized? Oh my goodness, look at this. We get the devil. The devil comes up. The devil is ra uh, ravage, violence, force, and fatality. That which is predestined but for not, not for this reason, evil. So this is predestination on Donald Trump. The fact that he has COVID is karmic. So, okay, so, so Tarot is telling us that he's not gonna get out of this as easily as he thinks that he is. He's playing with fire and he will be burned. The eighth card, we get the lovers because he's doing this for his base. Everything that he is doing is to portray himself as some type of a strong man, when he is the weakest link. Um, he riles people up to get them to do his bidding, and as soon as they do it and they get caught, he distances himself from them. He's never said that, he's never hold those beliefs. He is a liar. He will drag everything Trump touches will die. Everything that he touches will die. Every Republican that he has supported, every, every judge that he has put into power, everything that he has touched, that he has put his karmic mojo on, will fail, okay? Trump is a failure. He has always been a failure. He is not rich because he squandered and pissed away and lost all of his money. People have to see him for what he is. He is a con man. He is a hack. He is a fake. He is the fake news. Every time he says fake news, he is talking about himself. The ninth card, will Trump be rehospitalized? We get the empress. We get the ignorance and doubt again. And the final card... Tarot with its sense of humor because she wanted me to give you this whole impression is yes. 
Trump will be rehospitalized with the COVID virus. He is not out of the woods, guys. Everything that he is doing is going to harm him. It's going to harm him. It is going to harm his base, okay? This is his base. These people are going around getting the COVID by, uh, uh, they are getting the virus because Trump says it's nothing to worry about. People are taking their children. People's children are going to die. And these people, a lot of them, don't have health insurance. But they believe Donald Trump is their savior. Guys, this is awful, okay? So, Karna, yes, Trump will be rehospitalized. And that, guys, has been my reading for this ninth day of October 2020. That was a lot to unpack. What we have, excuse me guys, my spirit guide has got to get out of my throat chakra now. Okay, all right. These next few weeks up until the election, things are going to begin to unravel the ridiculousness of what we are going to see is going to be mind boggling. Please, when you step out of your house, make sure that you have your wits and faculties about you. Do not engage with unreasonable people. Do not engage with unreasonable people. These people are out there now with a single-minded agenda, and that is to start chaos, to create and keep it moving. They are trying to start a civil war. In earnest, guys, right now, these Proud Boys, these Boogaloos, and these other white supremacist groups are trying to start a civil war in America. But beyond that, and I don't want you to live in fear. I want you to live in knowledge. I want you to live in power. Knowledge is power. Fear is not. Fear is a hindrance. Fear will get you killed. Knowledge is power. Know what's going on with these people. Be aware of your surroundings. Take a second look around you going to and from your vehicle, to and from your front door, especially if you have Biden bumper stickers, uh, flags, or anything like that in your house, on your house, on your car, on your person. Take an extra second to assess the, your surroundings. Watch who's watching you. Make a plan. Keep people in. Let people know when you're when you're leaving the house. Okay, just let somebody know where you're going and when you expect to be back, in case something happens. Someone knows your last whereabouts. Okay, we have to, guys. We have to. We are dealing literally with demonic forces in this administration. They are not doing anything that is good for anyone other than themselves. They are creating havoc because they all risk prison. They all risk ruin. So they are going to do anything they can to attempt to stay in power. And if they can't do that, then they will attempt to just destroy the entire system. And that's where we are, guys. Eyes wide open. No fear. Learn all you can. Keep that smile on your face. Keep a positive, happy attitude. That is strength. I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a fantastic rest of the day, guys. And have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye.